Well, hello, we're back. Marvin the Martian. Back on planet Terraria. And things probably look very different to you. <laughs> and that's because they are. Here's what happened. I was having some trouble with the large world that I had generated originally. So I've basically migrated to a small world. And I've rebuilt the house. It's somewhat different. A little larger. A little better laid out, I think. Got my merchant all nicey nice and cozy up there. And uh, a little bit larger basement and, and flooring here as well. Now the one thing I have lost is all that cavern that I was working on. But um, this world is completely unexplored. So I guess that's a bonus. Now, I just have to move in completely. I brought everything over that I could. Um, I have everything back in the chest here. I just have to f finish this. And I wanted to, I left this like this because I wanted to show you, for those of you that don't have Terraria, how this works. You have to knock this out with a hammer, the background. And that was one of the issues I was having underground is I couldn't knock out the back wall because it wasn't, it didn't qualify as back wall. And, and somebody in the comments, a few people in the comments had mentioned that I had to go and um, I had to go down just a little bit lower where the dirt had rocks in it. And then it would have been perfectly fine. And apparently you can, you can knock that out with a hammer. So um, I will test that theory when I go back underground. But right now I'm here to stay. Uh -uh. I'm uh, stuck here at home and just rebuilding. Okay, so let's put all the stuff back down. Oh, my gear and my tools. What do we have here? I'm going to put you there and my anvil. So uh, this is a new version. just came out today, 1.2, I think. Which means crafting now, if you hold down shift and right click, oh, just hold it down and it like buzzes right through. Cool. Now, in the meantime of my move and rebuild, I have enough stars to craft um, the mana star thing, which I haven't done yet. And I'm going to do that in two seconds and just kill this guy. I think another star just fell too. What? Let's go check. I thought I heard one. Yeah, there it is. So again, this world is its a small world. It runs a little bit more efficiently when I have fraps recording. And everything's more condensed. So all the ores, all the dungeons and everything, uh, the pots and things to go out and explore, because it's a smaller world, apparently everything is more uh, dense and should be easier for me to locate rather than having to go out and search forever and dig a lot. So, all right, here we go. What is this? Oh, a Sticky Bomb is a new device. Just came out today with a patch. Sticky Bomb, consumable. So you turn a regular bomb with some gel and you make a Sticky Bomb. Let's make one of those. I guess you can stick it on things. If you have a, an area you want to blow up in particular without trying to roll the bomb, that makes it much easier for sure. All right, where's my... Star. Oh, I didn't. I gotta go over here and get him. Huh. Technicalities. Technicalities. <laughs> I'm gonna do the Marvin voice again. I'm only, I'll only do it a few times per session. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? Did I pass it? I've got all the stars. All the stars are aligned. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to. There it is. Okay. Purple thing. Mana crystal. Increases my maximum mana. So this goes here. And then I select it. And use it. And it adds a mana bar. So now I've got 20 mana. And I can shoot wands and blast things with my mighty fireball spells. Or not. Not yet. I still need my Illudium Pew 36 Explosive Space Modulator. Still searching for the Illudium. So let's put back the five stars. 
So if I get another five, that gives me ten, and this bar will just continue to grow. I don't know how many stars I can get there, but uh, we'll find out. And what else? Do, do, do. All right, let's go. Um, I'm gonna make a few potions. Oh, I don't have a alchemy station now, does I? So I need bottles. All right, I haven't really organized my stuff very well here since I've moved. Move to the new planet, Terraria. Um, glass bottles. I want to save some of my glass so I can make windows, because windows are cool. And a uh, bottle. I think I just stick a bottle on the table, if I remember correctly. Boom. Now I have an alchemy station. And there we go. So two potions. And I guess I'll just use up all of the mushrooms. And I have an extra bottle. All right. It's daytime almost. And I'm going to head out and go do some exploring of the new world. And we'll just uh, make sure we have everything I need. I'm going to bring in my bed. I'm going to test that bed theory again. I'm going to go way down. And acorns. I've got bunches of acorns. I'm not going to carry my gold bricks with me. Whoa, iron. 25 iron ore. Dude, I've been holding out. I will craft. Whoa, what do I have? So I have an iron broadsword. Got a lot of copper too. I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make a little space helmet. Space helmet did Oh, but my goggles are so cool! I didn't really pay attention there. Well, let's see. So space helmet. Aw, oh, dude. That was a waste. I think my goggles are way cooler. What do you think? Goggles or helmet? The helmet actually makes me look kinda more like an alien. I see my green face. Alright, so let's stick with that for now. And I need iron bars. Oh, I have to do that shift click thing. And copper greaves. Let's just make the pants. I like my exposed legs though, they're kinda funny. Let's just do it. Alright. So now I'm in my little copper spacesuit. Interesting. I'm all agog. All right, what else? Let's get. Uh, I'm sorry for all this management nonsense, but all right, let's go. I don't want to waste too much time here. I want to get down there and down somewhere. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, I can put. <laughs> Everybody's been saying this. I haven't really been paying much attention, but I can put my gold in, put Goldie inside the chest. The piggy bank is only if, well, it's handy for moving between worlds, apparently, and multiplayer. All right, let's get rid of some of these oh, mushroom. Let's grow some more trees while I'm here. Seems like everybody wants to see everything, mostly. So we'll do. Almost everything. Okay, now let's head down. Get those out of there. Let's go. So, this is all new territory. Let's go check it out. Alright, that's n really nothing there. Let's go far. We'll run along the surface here. Oh, nice. What's this? Is a cave? Already? Oh wait, did I come here already? Oh, maybe I did do one quick look around. Yeah, I might have come here, but I didn't go very far. And I didn't collect anything. Ah, ting, ting, ting. That's new with uh, 1.2. Does it ting, ting, ting when you hit metal ores? Nice little touch. And I'm going to play with the music on because it that. See, it changes as you go to different places. So when you go into ground, it plays a different tune. Ooh, hold on. Alright, I'm back. I had a wife attack there. <laughs> I 
All right, so you will learn if you're not married that when the wife comes a calling, you take a break. That's just the way it is. You may defy her for a while, maybe. As a newlywed, you might think that you're smarter than she, but you will learn. You will learn. Oh, yes, indeed, you will learn. Okay, so let's just head down here, see how far we can go. Alright, and I'm looking here, I'm looking in the corners. Oh, there's a cool little uh, technique here for finding... Well, this really isn't a very good spot for it, but... Um, I'll show you here in a second. Cool, nice, spiderweb. I like spiderwebs, cobwebs. all and make myself a bed so what you do is if you want to search in one area this works well if you're gonna just dig a straight shaft down let me see if I can find a place no, all right I'll just go over here and do it just to give you a quick tip you may already know this if you're a pro player but if you want to see over here rather than dig through all this stone I can just take my pick you go two down, one, two, three down, and over. Whoa! Something like that. Then you dig that block out, and you drop down a torch. And it reveals all that space. And then you can see if that's the direction you would like to go. And indeed it is, but not right now. Is that... That's stone. I have not found any silver in a while. I like that new sound. Beats everything sounding exactly the same. Oh, so water down there. Let's go check it out. Seems slower for some reason. Maybe they've been tinkering with the picks. Whoa, I'm standing in it. Ah, copper. Nice. And iron. But the torch is going to go out. from my head and I can just go up and grab some air. We'll grab the copper. This green stuff. So there must be something else down there, huh? Hey, what is that? Oh, scalable. oh emerald! Huh? I've never seen any emeralds before. That's my first time. First time for everything. Oh, get up, get some air. Pay attention to the air bubbles. What else? Sweet. Got me some gems. Got me some bling. Now, the trick is getting out of here. There we go. Not too shabby. So I'm curious about this death penalty. Because only losing gold really isn't much of a penalty at all. It's a very minor deterrent. Hardly a death penalty, in my opinion. Should be a little bit more fear when you go underground. I need sand, so I'm gonna grab some while I'm here. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, yeah. See this stuff in the back. Let's try my hammer. 
Or it had to be on an edge. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's the edge? Has to be an edge. An edge between the two players, perhaps? Maybe that's what the gentleman was telling me in the comments. Let's see. So, we'll go back to hammer. Hammer time. Oh! Seems to be correct, but... Wait a minute. What is this accomplishing? Am I breaking anything? I guess I could try to build a bed here. But I have to build a little room. So all I'm doing is uncovering more of this rocky dirt, it would seem. So maybe I gotta expand that up. So maybe, well, alright, let's test this out. No. Maybe I can put a wall here. Science is fun! Alright, I'm still confused. So I'm gonna build a room and do it the old fashioned way. But I prefer spelunking. Personally, let's just go run around and get stuff. I'll build later. Cut straight through here. Oh, water. Hey, a wool! Crystal heart. I haven't found one of those either, but I know about them. Get the water out. Nice. So this little heart thingy will let me increase my health. And another one right on the other side. That's awesome. What I need is my hammer. And you smack this guy down. I get a life crystal. And when I eat it, Get out of here, Blue. Listen. You're just annoying. Oh. <laughs> Didn't seem to pan out. Alright. Um, so now i got to get that one over there. That's a lot of sand to dig through. Taint it. Alright, well let's get this life thing going. So if I... Oh boy. Here comes a worm. <laughs> it's getting closer to my head. Hmm. It's really high sand. I guess I can go beneath it. So anyway, getting back to the life crystal, if I chew on that, it adds an additional heart to my life. So now I've got 120 maximum. And I believe I need six. Now that I have six, I can attract a nurse. Because I like the big bulky guys with lots of life points. Right under. I'm so smart. Climb, Marvin. Get a little air. Get a little air. 